Renault released a press release last week to say the Renault 5 will be coming with vehicle to grid and it will be Renault's first vehicle to grid car. And however that might be true, the whole press release in my eyes is vaporware. So today I'm gonna to be going through why that's vaporware using some internal sources I've got around all the EV industry and some leaks have been provided to tell you what I actually think this Renault press release means, what it actually means for the Renault 5 and what it will actually mean for existing Renault 5 Megane e-customers that are hoping that vehicle to grid may come to their car. If you weren't already aware, at the bottom of YouTube there is chapters to skip to different parts of this video. Now if you go to the chapters now you can skip past my explanation of what vehicle to grid is. But first I want to explain what vehicle to grid is for the people that don't understand. Vehicle to grid V2G means vehicle power from your car battery going back to the national grid, going back to your energy supplier. And then we have V2H, vehicle to home, that's power going from your vehicle battery to your home, so supplying loads in your home like the oven or various other appliances. Then finally, we have what's known as V2L, that's vehicle to load. Self-explanatory, it's your vehicle powering a load. That load may be a kettle or a desk fan or a laptop, but it's basically just powering a very low power 13 amp device. Now, if you just skipped to this part because you thought you already understood vehicle to grid, vehicle to home, I've tricked you by skipping to this part because the car manufacturers don't understand it, so I don't expect you to fully understand it. So please just listen to this little bit as I explain why car manufacturers completely don't understand or agree to what vehicle to grid and vehicle to home is. Now, way I understand it, and let me know down below in the comments if you understood it this way, but I understand vehicle to grid and vehicle to home to be interchangeable terms that mean exactly the same thing. It's your vehicle battery powering the home or the grid simultaneously switching between the two, just like a regular battery home storage unit or an inverter. If that's what you thought, let me know down in the comments, but that's not what all car manufacturers agree on. Some car manufacturers believe that vehicle to grid is the car powering the home and the grid, but it's one technology. Vehicle to grid is that one technology that does both. They, Some of them believe vehicle to home, V to H, is the car only connected to house loads. That means there's no grid connection. These house loads are on a separate diverted backup system that is only powered by the vehicle to grid home system. Now, a system that does something very similar to that is the Ford F-150. That has a specialist war box, that basically takes the power out of the car and powers devices in the home on an island system. So it separates it from the grid when that system is plugged in, so the house and the car loads are not joined and those special circuits are powered by the car for emergency backup use, which in certain states in America where they're common for blackouts is brilliant, but here in Europe where blackouts are a little bit rarer, it seems a little bit pointless. Next we have the two methods of vehicle to grid, vehicle to home. Vehicle to grid can use AC or DC power to power your home. Now essentially the battery power in your car is all DC and the home power is all AC. So we need to get that DC to AC by various methods. Now in the early days of vehicle to grid, vehicle to home, you did this with a CHAdeMO connection and a special war box system that basically converted the power from your car and got the car battery DC into the charger and that DC charger converted it back to AC to then put it into your house. Now what this allowed was the vehicle to grid, vehicle to home system to simultaneously work all the time perfectly. Now some manufacturers have decided Maybe they could use the vehicle to load system in a vehicle to grid capacity. That is using the car's onboard charging system to convert that DC power on board the car to AC. Now this is what seemingly the Renault document seems to kind of go down. Now there's a reason I think that's absolute vaporware and a load of rubbish. And there is reasons why DC chargers in this manner are better and AC chargers I don't think will be the be all and end all future, even though it sounds better, I don't think it's the route most manufacturers will take. Now there's a couple of advantages of doing it by the DC route and that is hopefully by the end of this year, we will see the first DC CCS charger and an agreed standard by all manufacturers to use for the DC CCS technology. The problem with the AC one is that not only would you still require a specialist war box, but 
the likelihood of all car manufacturers using the same integration and warbox systems is very unlikely. Now the Renault press release says that Renault 5 will be the first Renault with vehicle to grid technology and I think this is marketing spin. What I actually think that the document should say is it will be the first Renault from launch with vehicle to grid technology because from my understanding that the Megane E with its CCS connection is already capable of doing vehicle to grid DC now. The question is will Renault allow the Renault Megane E to do vehicle to grid with just a software update that's free for customers or will they charge or will they only allow it on new cars that they start selling? Comments in the section down below. Now the document that Renault provided to the media is full of rendered images. These rendered images don't show you any physical products that have been made, physical hardware, it doesn't tell you anything. Now I do believe that the Renault 5 will look identical to what the concept did on the exterior. The interior I believe is going to be slightly different as you'd expect but the exterior will be exactly as you expected. They've already got some already on the road that are in testing so they don't need these rendered images if the car is at that stage. So why have we got rendered images? Well we got these rendered images because the company that they say is going to make the AC charger, and there's a rendered image of this AC charger that will do vehicle to grid, it's an AC charger, and the company that are making this charger, from all respects I can see, is a French-based company, and it has made no hardware ever. It's a software company. It's a software company that are suddenly going to make a very complex piece of hardware to work with vehicle to grid on something they've never made before, and they're going to produce it in a lot of numbers for a worldwide uh, for the Renault market all over the world to do vehicle to grid and they've never made any before this seems to me that there might be an alternative motive now let's theorize and this is my personal guess i don't think it's true i just think i'm just theorizing with the audience i want you the audience to suggest what might be possible a theory that could be you know a conspiracy theory that i might have is that this Renault company uh, has a friend who works at this software company and these friends were probably buddies for a while and they said, I want to raise some money for my software company and he says, could you say that Renault will use us as their software company for a charger? And they've gone, yeah, 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 we'll write you a memorandum that means absolutely nothing uh, but we'll pretend that we'll order some so it'll make your company look better. And then that company, the software company, decides to, I don't know, ask for some capital investment and now because they've got this order letter from Renault for the worldwide market for chargers suddenly this company's worth a lot more money. I don't know if that could be true, it could be completely made up but it just seems very odd that a software company who've never made any chargers are suddenly going to make chargers. I'm hoping we'll see the first vehicle to grid cars and chargers by the end of this year but if you're hoping for the Renault 5 by the end of this year, you're out of luck, especially if you're in the UK. It's more likely to be the end of 2024 for UK buyers and European buyers won't see it until about 12 months from this date because that is when the Renault 5 is planned to launch in the Europe. UK have always had to wait longer for cars like we did for the Renault Megane E. The big question is, what are they going to do with the Renault Megane E? I'm hoping that I'll see the very, very, very first vehicle to grid chargers before the end of the year and the ISO standards and all that will finally be agreed upon. If you're interested in learning more about home chargers, then maybe check out this series here I did about home chargers. And if you can't wait for vehicle to grid and want a home battery storage unit, then check out this series of videos I've done on solar and battery storage.